Okay, let's do it. Less than 10 seconds. Here we go. Maybe we've been live for a while. What do I know? Hey, guys, it's Ted Bogert with The Ted Show. Welcome back. We're super excited to have uh, this, I just want to say old friend, but she's a dear friend and she's not old. Uh, talented, amazing. She's been a guest on The Ted Show. She sings, she performs, she does so much in the world. And we're going to talk about it's time to reconnect what that all means. The one and only Cece Tanil. What's up, Cece? How you doing? Hey, 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 hey. Insert applause. Yes. All Yay, of that. Yes. I know. I wish I had, I think I can do one of those applause machines. I should try to figure that out. Um, you're just absolutely one of my favorite people to talk to. The uh, Your energy, your give back. I think Rosine might have introduced us the first time uh, with Pace Center for Girls. Yes. Uh, you just have a heart of gold and you do so much in the, in the community. And you're also incredible incredibly talented ah, uh, so we want to talk about all of that but let's give them a background on you first let's give them a 411 on who cc is i am cc tenille i am a central florida native born and bred and excited and thankful and grateful about it um i am a singer songwriter entertainer now adding producer real estate agent to my um, to my the the things that I do, I guess, to my hats that I'm wearing. Um, most affectionately known for my Aretha Franken tribute that I travel nationally with. Um, been in Orlando doing this since 2002, so 20 years almost, and just really excited about community advocacy and use, using my arts platform to um, advocate for members of the artist community. So just super excited about that. And thank you so much for having me, Ted. I appreciate it. I love your energy. You know, I love anytime you want to come on and you are one of those people who actually is talented that says they're, they can <laughs> sing. You know the type I'm talking about that gets I know. on and you're like, oh Lord, that's when I remove myself from the screen so I can let them just shine. Yes. Uh, you do so much in the community and you have so many different, like you said, hats you wear. And it's funny because we, you know, I've always kept up with you since you were on the show last time. And then you've entered this new world. Uh, you mentioned real estate before you got into that. So what is a creative doing in the real estate slash business world? Well, what I find a lot of times is that because I am a creative, we have a lot of um, people that are entrepreneurs. And so I want to, I pride myself on being able to assist entrepreneurs and people that are self-employed with that process, the home buying process or the investing process. A lot of us have income or, you know, we have a big savings account that's sitting there, but now we need to figure out how to invest so that we can make sure that we have something solid when it's time for us to retire. So that's what, how I, that's why a creative is in it because we need somebody that understands what we are doing when it's time for us to make a large purchase such as a home or a commercial property or an investment property for that matter. So I wanted to be, um, I wanted to give them someone that looked like them. I love, I love that you <laughs> take all sides of it too. I mean, you know, who doesn't want a real, especially on the real estate side or anybody you do business with, who doesn't want somebody who is um, uh, energetic, charismatic, fun, but serious, knows their stuff, but still has a good time and wants you to um, enjoy the process rather it's than. It's a vibe, Ted. It's a vibe. You got to set the vibe. vibe. It's a vibe. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about it's time to reconnect. And I'll remind you that we have Rashawn uh, waiting in the wings. Um, but tell yeah, them about Yeah, you can bring that. him on whenever you okay, want. Okay, I'm going to bring you on, Rashawn. Ready? Here we go. Rashawn Young is with us. He just needs to unmute himself. And then we can... Hi, Rashawn. What's up? Nothing much. I'm, I'm glad to be on this side of heaven. Amen. Well, we're very excited <laughs> to have you. I can't wait to learn your role in this. Cece, tell us first, what is Reconnect Orlando all about? What's going on? You've got an event this week. You are 
Uh, you're doing so yeah, much. And I love this. We got a you. lot going on. So reconnect. Um, I, I I created Reconnect Orlando under the guise of wanting to give something back to our community. I felt like our legislators had done a great job of leading us, leading us through the pandemic as far as resources for people. But I wanted to give an injection back into their mental health. I wanted to give of myself to my community. And I knew that there were other people that would do the same. Music is the in the the universal language and I feel like giving back music, we can give them hope, we can give them love, we can give them joy, we can give them compassion all in the form of music. I didn't have a bunch of money that I could give out to the whole community, but I do have this gift that I can give to them, the gift right. of music, the gift that um, will unify us, the gift that we all hear the same. And so that's what Reconnect Orlando is. It is an, an, an opportunity for us to reconnect families with friends, to connect artists with their art, and to bring all of that to the community for one big night under the stars at the Dr. Phillips Center Front Lawn Fe Front Front Yard Festival. I, I am so excited. All right, tell them what role, what is Rashawn, uh, what's his role? Because I love that you bring people on. First of all, kudos to you because you realize, and we talk about it on the show a lot, um, if you don't have a ton of money, you can still give back to your community. You can use your gifts, your resources, your connections yes. to give back because there's such a need. It doesn't always have to be a check, people. So if you have you you have something you love, you're passionate about, don't get caught up in, I'm just not making enough money to do anything. You've got yeah. time, you've got your talents, whatever they might be. I don't think you're gonna sing like CC sings, but <laughs> you've got um, you've got your talents that are unique that will help. I promise you they'll help. So yeah, tell us what Rashawn is, um, yes, is going I will. on there. This is this 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 project is a, a huge give back because and I and I'll tell you about Rashawn in a second, but just so that everyone is aware, the artist the artist community suffered a great loss um financially with the pandemic. All of our gigs, all of our shows, the workers at Disney, the workers at Universal, everybody experienced a loss because they were not able to work. All right. And so we were forced to find other talents. But the, the, the four people that are on the show with me, they were set up to really have a breakout year. So this is their, their, this is a platform for them to catapult them back to where they were as they went into 2020. So we're, they're leaving with amazing photographs. They're leaving with amazing video footage, all to push them to the next level so that they can kind of catch up from where 2020 knocked them down. Rashawn is responsible for making all of my vision <laughs> come to life. And sometimes I know that can be challenging, but Rashawn is serving as the production manager for this show. And awesome. um, he is responsible for making sure I'll let you tell him. Let him right. tell you. Rashawn, I'm going to give you front and center. <laughs> tell us a little bit about you and then tell us what your role is. Absolutely. So uh, my name is Rashawn Young. I'm a recent graduate from Bethune Cooking University with my master's in public relation and advertising. Um, and I just have a passion for production and music and, and all those things that come together. Um, like Cece said, I'm serving as the production manager on this show, and I'm just so excited about it because uh, sh the vision that she has is one that is just huge. And the best way that I can describe this show in one word is party, because we are going to have a great time in the middle of Orlando, and the people who didn't get the tickets are going to be walking by outside. They're going to wish they had gotten a ticket. And some of them <laughs> might actually walk up and buy tickets to the show. And so um, that's what I would describe her vision is it's going to be an amazing time. Um, and I am honored and blessed. I'm, I'm not talented in the uh, vocal. I haven't really tapped into my throat chakra yet like Cece <laughs> has, but you know, um, I am talented in, in operations and, and you know, making sure stuff gets done. And so that's what she has uh, allowed me to do. She has a micromanaged. She is, you know, she is like the ideal boss because she's like, this is what, you're supposed to do and she lets you have you know your way do it the best way possible that represents her and so um I've, you're very I've calm for it. somebody who's got a big thing coming up i love you know, it you know you we know, did a lot of planning we did a lot of planning we have been planning and so i believe that 
Um, proper planning prevents piss poor performance. Absolutely. I love that. <laughs> On so. a Monday afternoon, we got piss poor performance in there. Fantastic. I'm going to remember that one. You're absolutely yeah. right, though. You have to plan. You guys obviously have a passion for what you're doing, but passion doesn't organize and make things implement. You still have the implementation, so the planning is right. so important. I want you to describe what people... So it's gonna. It's time to reconnect. Reconnect Orlando. So if they uh, go to the site, and we'll share the links. We'll share everything with you guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. What can they expect if they come on? It's Friday, right? Yes, it's this Friday at the Dr. Phillips Center. They can expect to hear all of their favorite soul tunes, right? So we're going from Earth, Wind, and Fire all the way to Destiny's Child. Like you can expect to have a good time. You're not gonna wanna keep your seat. You're gonna wanna clap your hands. You're gonna wanna sing like nobody's listening or sing like you're in the shower and then <laughs> dance like no one's watching. I know that LaVon is probably going to say, CC, stop saying that, but I want people dancing in the <laughs> aisles, okay? You're, you, everybody gets a little pod when you make a purchase, but I want people to not have the capacity to contain themselves and they can just go in the aisles. We have a full production. We have a horn section. We have a four-piece band. We have amazing background singers. We are. I have three a, three other singers: Nina Sky, Carmen Harrell, and Yoshi that are going to be gracing the stage. An amazing saxophone player, Dave Stewart, that's going to be front and center for a little while. I mean, we have the Believe Dance Academy that's joining us on some numbers. Ines Patricia with Jere, they're joining us on some numbers. I mean, we have literally pulled every facet of the community that we can to make sure that every single person is represented because we want people to connect to this vision. And so if members of the Citrus Club, and I'm so excited about this, members of the Citrus Club can get a little sneak preview um, on Wednesday at the Citrus Club. So that's, I mean, that's going to be pretty dope. It's going to be a, little bit of a scaled down thing. But um, if you're a member of the Citrus Club, you want to be at the Citrus Club on Wednesday from 530 to 730 because we are going to make it live. We're going to make it live. Is it? Is the goal, yeah, Citrus Club members, reach out to me and I'll get you the information if you don't see it on the calendar because I know it's, I, I've seen the invite. Yeah. Um, so tell them what the, what the goal is. You've got Reconnect Orlando, you have a website. Is the goal to do this once a month? Are you going to make this sort of a movement, an initiative that you're working towards? So we are, so I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. It started off as just a small little concert. Okay. And that quickly <laughs> changed. <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> that quickly changed because as we continue to think about all of the things that we need to reconnect with, um, a lot of artists are reaching out saying, hey, what can we do after this? So I'm thinking there'll be some opportunities for us to do some, you know, some movements with some homeless shelters to feed the hungry and do some clothing drives and do all these things that help us reconnect with each other because we're all just one bad mistake away from being homeless. Let's be honest. Okay? Amen. Whether you are whether you are wealthy or whether you are middle class, you're one bad mistake away from being homeless. And so I think when we can bring humanity back to people and allow them to realize that they're just one mistake away, people will be more inclined to give and more inclined to participate and more inclined to lend a helping hand to our neighbors that need us right now. There were a lot of people displaced by COVID-19. A lot of people lost their jobs, lost their homes. And there's people that are just simply trying to feed their families. And so anything that we can do post reconnect, I'm up for it. I'm up for the challenge. Like you said, I was inclined to buy the website. And so whatever the website turns into after Friday, um, I don't know what it's going to be, but I know it's going to be amazing. <laughs> we need it. I love the reconnect thought process because I think a lot of people, not just the arts, people are still slowly going out. They're slowly reestablishing their relationships and going to places no, again. No, no, no. And so the reconnection is so critical and it's on everybody's mind. So I love the fact that you're going to continue to do it. I'd love to be a part of it um, and help because I think uh, your mission and the amount of talent that you guys are bringing 
um, to reconnect Orlando is huge. And we don't have <clears throat> anything like it, in my opinion. All right. Listen, so these girls and this band is they're blazing. It's going to be a concert. Blazing. Like I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's a local concert. It's not a it's not a local concert. We just live locally. Yes. So you're breaking up just a little bit, but um, people don't know. Oh, I am. They, is it better now? Oh, there you are. There you are. People have never, if you've never heard Cece, so she's, you know, she's talking, she talks a great game because she's passionate. She knows her stuff, but she's actually an incredibly <laughs> talented human being, like a gif. You have a Absolutely. gif, Cece. Uh, so I asked you earlier, if you wouldn't mind, give them a little bit of, I don't know, a snippet of that amazing voice and gift that you have, and I'm going to remove Rashawn and I while you do that. Kind of set them up. Okay, let's see. Right. Oh, baby, what you done to me? Make me feel so good inside, and I just wanna be close to you. You make me feel so alive, cause you make me feel. You make me feel, you make me feel like a natural woman. You make me feel, you make me feel, you make me feel like a natural woman, woman. So just... <laughs> I get chills. It's amazing. I just, just never, it's such a gift. I'm so thankful that you are, that you're sharing that gift. And in more creative ways than just performance, this is a community thing that you are doing. Shirley Walker says, sing, Cece, sing. She's watching hey, us from Shirley. LinkedIn. Hi, Shirley. Um, absolutely beautiful. I love that. It gives me chills. Anytime you open your mouth and that voice comes out, I'm so Excited, and that's just a taste, guys and gals, of what you're going to see on Friday. Friday, and if you're a Sitch Club member, a little taste on Wednesday. So listen right. to this, Ted. I'm going to tell, tell you us. this. Tell us. Listen, so let me tell you this. All the remaining tickets on the lawn are $20. Wow. Wow. That's, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> because we want people to come out. We want them to come and have a good time. Bring your children, bring your family, bring your neighbors. People are asking how they can support it. You know what? Go down the street to your neighbor that you know lost their job and bring the family out. It's it's 20 bucks for a person. Bring people out. Bring people to celebrate. Yes. With you. That's, that's all we want. All right. So. Tell us where they the best way for them to reach you guys, for them to buy tickets, to find out more about uh, Reconnect Orlando. What's the best way? I'll let you take it, Rashawn. All right, well, Rashawn. Well, of course, visit www.reconnectorlando.com. It's scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Um, and as Cece said, even if you don't know somebody, maybe you want to give, maybe you say, I just want to contribute and I want somebody in the community to, to be blessed by this experience. You can email us at hi at reconnectorlando.com and okay. we will give your ticket to someone in the community. So you're st you, there's always ways to give back. It's a great experience that we want everyone Maryland, the greater Orlando, Central Florida, Florida, the United States to experience. And so if you know someone or you don't know someone, you can still give. It's a great effort to give back to towards. I have to say this before we go, Ted, um, and I'm saying it on every platform that we go on. This is a ministry and CC, uh, it's not just a performance for her to, you know, make some change on it, the, the goal for her. And I've been working with her, um, for a while now, a few few what weeks or so, um, and even in this short span of time that I've been working with her, I can tell that it's it has nothing to do 
with her and everything to do with giving back to the community. And, and like you said, reconnecting us to one another. Um, COVID-19 has had a big impact on all of us. And so as we are on the cusp of what looks like a new normal, this concert is supposed to serve as a little piece of hope for a better tomorrow. And so I, I have to say that because that's what she has instilled in me. This is her vision. This is the vision. This is what you're gonna see uh, lived through all the singers and the visual aspects that are gonna take place on the front yard on Friday. All right. Well said, Rashawn. Cece Tennille, you're amazing. You are too, Rashawn. Such a blessing to have you doing what you're doing in the community. Go to Reconnect Orlando. Dot com, or if you want to just reach out, you can do hi at reconnectorlando.com. You guys are both a blessing. I love that you called it your ministry because that's how I think of my business as well. I think it's such a blessing. Thank you both for all you do in the community. Guys, go out and support our artists, support creatives who are trying to give back to the community. You keep telling me, Ted, how do I get involved? Here's a great way for you to get This is how you get involved right here. And I'm happy to talk to you again, Citrus Club members. I am happy to talk to you whenever you see me. I normally have a bun on top of my head, but I will be there on Wednesday to talk to you and express to you the importance of this concert. It is super important and I'm super thankful in advance. Woo. All right. You're amazing. Absolutely amazing. Go to reconnect. Thank you, Ted. We appreciate you. I appreciate you all so much. You guys get out and support, support people who are trying to give back to the community, especially in our arts right now. Our arts community could use all the support they can get. Cece, you're amazing. Rashawn, so nice to meet you. I'm excited for where this is going. It's going to be awesome. You guys get out and support.